Hello everyone, Minecraft Tech Tips, back here with uh, another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.16.5. Now, let's get straight into it. So, first thing you want to do is um, go to the link down below, and it'll bring you to uh, MinecraftForge.net, and we're just going to click 1.16.5 on over here, and right here. So, uh, just I have what I'm, I'm just going to use Optifine for this. So, as you can see right here, um, Optifine, right here, and it's going to use Forge version 36.042, but this is 36.043, so what do I do? Well, we go down here and we click Show All Versions, and as you can see right here, 36.042. We're going to click Installer, and it's going to say this this is a virus do not trust this at all do not click download do not we're gonna click skip over here and it's gonna download right here forge jar and it's gonna ask if we want to keep it yes we do trust me it is safe it's, it's, it's even gonna scan for viruses as you can see and it will let you know like there will be fire defender wall come back up and it'll say blah 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 this has a virus or something and so this is scanning for viruses um, jar files they do take kind of a long time so um, this will take alright actually it's done and alright so we can close you out and we will close you out as well and so we're gonna go over to here downloads forge uh, Installer jar for 1.16.5. So we're just gonna come on out here. We're just gonna drag this over to here. Now you want to make sure that you've actually played 1.16.5 before you actually do it. So we're just going to um, install. So double click. It's going to bring this README thing. So you just click here. It's just gonna tell you everything. You can actually delete this. You don't need it. Actually, uh, no, 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 no. This is not. No, this is this. So you want to do install client, and we're just going to press OK, and it's going to download everything, building, processors, all this stuff, and here in a minute, once it's done, um, which shouldn't take too long, because um, it's going pretty fast with everything, it's just all the textures, see it's re-mapping the jar, 30, 40, this will go to 100 and it will do some other things and it'll be done. And boom. Alright. And we'll just let wait for it to close out. Which shouldn't be too long. Yep, boom. Successfully installed client profile forge for 1.16. You can close this out and you can put this away. Also, you can throw this away as well. We're just going to empty that. So now, um, we're going to go here. And um, we are going to go into an unnamed installation. And if we just kind of scroll down here, right here, Forge. It'll just show be like a Forge sign. Forge 1.16.5, Forge 36.0.42 jar. You just want to uh, click that. And we are going to download our uh, thing. So I'm just going to go here, here. It's going to download right here. Um, we're going to keep. And scanning for viruses. It always scans uh, jar files for viruses because, well, Windows users are usually not smart with that type of stuff. So. We're just going to wait for this to um, get done. Shouldn't take too long. And uh, the way you know it's done is uh, this will go away. It'll start blinking. This bar will start blinking. And then maybe a few seconds after, it will say open file. It's taking a really long time, though, so I might do a jump cut. All right, guys, um, it just got done. So we are going to close you out. Close you out. We're just going to um, start up Minecraft. So, uh, it's going so when it starts up Minecraft, it's going to like um, show all this stuff loading at the bottom and all this gibberish. Don't worry, 
yeah. Well, I'm just gonna do a jump cut. Alright guys, Minecraft is loaded with jar, and it should look something like this. It should have, like, mods down here, and it should say this warning sign up here because it's a beta version, but that's fine. So, we're just gonna go into mods, and as you can see, I have Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod already in here, but this, um is uh, in something else so we're just gonna open mod mod folder and as you can see it's empty and so we are going to go to our downloads here we're gonna take this optifine and we're gonna drag it out now we're gonna click this back arrow so it'll take us back to the mods folder as you can see we're gonna take this optifine and drag it in here and as you can see um because uh it said that it was for this version and we go back out, we come on back in here, we press done, we go into mods. Um, it should be in here, I don't know why it's not. Um, actually, hang on. Uh, you might, sometimes, when it, if it does this, you're going to, you're going to have to quit your game. Um, so let me just do that real quick, and I'll meet you guys back when I've restarted it. Alright guys, so I've just restarted Minecraft with that, and um, as you can see here, it's not actually in here, it doesn't say it's in here, but it actually is in here. So, let me uh, show you. If we go to options real quick, and uh, we go to video settings, as you can see, we have shaders, which is only exclusive to Optimine. We have details, animations, quality, performance, and other stuff. And all of this, shaders mainly, is not in normal Minecraft. We also have dynamic lights, which I have set to uh, faster, that's the default thing, is fast. And, um, yeah, so, as you can see, Optifine is in here, even though it does not say that it's in here. I actually have proof that it is in here, let me just open the file real quick. So, we're gonna go run, app data, we're gonna go into Minecraft, um, mods, right here. Now, as you can see, Optifine is in mods. So, that is how you get Forge with mods. Um, if you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like. And if you found this um, really helpful and want to support me, please subscribe. Um, post weekly videos and leave your struggles and all of your things down in the comments. And I will see you all later. Bye.